Hi everyone, Keith here. Um, I've had a, a few people asking me about uh, two different banjo licks in my songs. Um, one of them being a song called Gone Tomorrow, here today. And uh, I just thought I'd grab this six string bearing and play you the figure uh, of how I, uh, I'm doing it. So let's see. I'll zoom in here a little bit. So basically we've got the open D string. Which is an open D. Tilt the camera around so you can see what's going on. All right. Uh, pointy finger <laughs> on the G string on whatever the hell this fret is. That one right there. And then pinky on the B, up B string up here. Those are my three primary strings I'm going to use for this opening figure. The reason I'm using the pinky is because I've got to slide it up for... to make that chord. So, here, on this end, I'm just rolling with... Uh, if we don't flat pick it, which I think I did on the record was a flat pick, but if we use fingers, it would be... that first part. The next one is going to slide from here it's the high E and the B string making those sounds. This is a tone between them making it almost a dissonant thing. So That's that sequence. And then you complete the phrase by on the B string. So together it's The next one uh, is Somebody Like You, Oof, in uh, E. Uh, it's a three finger pattern, so you G string, B string, and the E string, these three. And I'm just putting my, uh, my pointy finger on the... Uh, Whatever the hell that fret is. So those are open. This is here. And it's just, you can use any finger. It's just sliding that finger up a tone every time until a, a, a half tone. So. That's the simplistic foundation of it, is the movement of. only ever moving one one string at a time so uh, I mean you're only moving one one string on a fret at a time so so it's really then it's just more about the hammer-ons the
<laughs> I hope that's of some help. Bye.